Welcome everyone to Cosmic Readers. If you make it to the end of the story and want to see more, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to share with your friends. And if you want to make a shout out to any of your friends or classroom, make sure you send us an email that you'll find in the description below. Are you ready? Let's begin. Hello everyone. Today we're going to be reading a book called A Bean, A Stock, and A Boy Named Jack. And this story is by William Joyce and Kenny Calicut. Once upon a time, there was a smallish green bean, regular as they come. The last one out of the pod. Did it look like a bean that would make a difference? Did it look like a bean of destiny? Hardly. But, you know, things can happen. There was also a smallish kid with the smallish name of Jack. He had a smallish mom, a smallish dad, a smallish cow, and a smallish farm. That's about it. No great shakes. But, like I said, things can happen. Or rather they didn't. As in, it didn't rain for so long that the crops dried up, and the wells dried up, and the rivers, and the lakes, and the moats, and the bird baths. So the people were thirsty, the fish were uncomfortable, the birds were unbathed, and the king's royal pinky had become stinky. I require that my pinky be made unstinky. Since there was no water to be had, everyone in the kingdom had to cry enough tears so the king could wash his pinky. Now, this king's name was King Blah Blah Blah, and he had a daughter who was Princess Blah Blah Blah, and she was so embarrassed that her dad was making everyone in the entire kingdom cry that she went to the local wizard guy and said, Please, please, please do something magical. The local wizard guy did some reading and some thinking and some drawing and mathing and magicking. And you know, things started to happen. Hey, I'm a smallish magic bean, said the bean. Hey, I'm a smallish regular kid, said Jack. Well, let's do something big, suggested the bean. Okay, replied Jack. I like your style, Jack. Back at you, Bean. All we need to do is dig a hole, put me in it, smooth the dirt, drip one drop of water, and repeat some magic words three times, said the Bean. Let's give it a go. Wow! Those are the magic words! So, a hole was dug, the bean was planted, the dirt was smooth, a drip of water was dropped, and Jack said, Give it a go! Give it a go! Give it a go! Good luck, bean! Back at you, Jack! And then, things began to... happen keep it going bean I think I see something you've got it Jack interesting pipes bean giant pipes Jack 
giant house bean. Big bubbles, Jack. Give me a little help, bean. Alrighty, Rooney, Jack. The big bubbles were coming from a really big bathtub in which there sat. Guess who? Hey, I'm a smallest giant kid named Don. Hey, I'm a smallish regular kid named Jack. So, Don. Yeah, Jack? Been in the tub long? Yeah, a long time. My pinky was stinky. Wow, that seems to be going around. Suddenly, there was a giant on the door. Don! Yeah, Mom? You've been in there for forever! Gee, Don, I guess you gotta go. Yeah. But first, let me help you with that toe. It's funny what a big deal a little toe can be. Ya think, Jack? Trust me, Don. And Don? Yeah, Jack? Maybe turn off the faucet? Good idea, Jack. And then Jack told Don goodbye and a rub-a-dub dubbed his way home. The trip was a bit draining, but then Jack found his old pal. Back at the castle, the local wizard guy announced, with some satisfaction, Your Highness, may I present a bean, a stock, and a boy named Jack. And before the king could say, Hey there, hi there, ho there, his pinky was unstinky. What a day, said the old wizard guy. What a bean, said Jack. What a boy, said the bean. I'm thirsty, said the bean. I'm princess blah blah blah, said the princess. But you can call me Jill. Well, Jill, want to fetch a pail of water for my pal? asked Jack. Sounds fun, said Jill. And so... They did. The end. Sort of. We hope you enjoyed the story, and if you did, give us a like and subscribe and share with your friends. See you next time at Cosmic Readers.